think it might be this round that Guido stopped you. There's a crisp jab from Guido. He's actually doing some pretty nice fainting for a big guy. Back to the body. Big right hand again. Down goes Lions. Dude, second knockdown of the fight for Leonello. They don't want him to I don't think he's going to make it. Nope, he's not going to make it. That's it. Four. So he's a relative newcomer to the sport. Well, he got plenty of time to learn. And he's going to learn from a good guy, too, and Sanchez. And I like the way he went to the body here to, yeah. to help set up this final attack. And, and Christina's right. He just, just doesn't look like... He's out there being boxer. He showed a little boxer puncher. You get a guy like Guido coming with such a great amateur background and amateur pedigree. Um, he's just getting a few fights under his belt and, and just Andrew Satterfield is just the next victim. Right there it is. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> On cue. Five punch combination. Vianello. Left hand rocking Satterfield, and then the right coming back on the other side. Halfway through round number one. I don't think this is going to go much longer. Vianello, I think the refs just step Seeing in. Seeing red, Satterfield wobbled. And we'll see if the referee yeah, he steps should. in. He should. The referee's yeah. saying fight back. Show me something, but it's over. It's over. He's not defending himself. Vianello, a first round. Knockout victory as referee Rudy Barrigan steps in. Some really good, talented heavyweights up there. So um, this is better than the, the sparring in the gym. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean his, his sparring in the gym is better than his opponents. Well, yeah, you know, they say guys like like Andrew here from the Midwest, is they use him for stepping stones. And this is what he did tonight. He used Andrew as a stepping stone tonight. Like you said, better sparring in the gym. This was a more of a less like a beat down. And Vianello, after that first knockdown, we could hear his corner say, again, again, again. And didn't let up, didn't want this fight to go out of the first round because, frankly, in the discrepancy of talent and physical nature of these two fights, it shouldn't have gone past the first round, and, and Vianello wanted to show why. No, you never know with heavyweights because all it takes is one punch. There is one punch straight right from Vianello that catches Gabriel. And now an overhand right and left, and Gabriel goes down. Right on cue, heavyweights. And that's it. Good call. Good stoppage by Thomas Taylor, the referee. A smart, smart stoppage. Rides back, boom, follows the jab hand back. And that's why you always bring your jab back to your face after you, after you throw it. And then another overhead right, right here. Rocker step, jab, uh, right hand, right over the jab. Comes in, looks for a body shot. And it's, I think you're right, it's going to be another overhand right, right over the shoulder. That chops down. When Tony Weeks takes control and, the, and lets the fighter know what he's thinking about, and that's it. No doubt, Vianello has yet to see the third round as a pro. Big right hand puts an end to this fight. He's still working out the kinks in his game, but nonetheless, Guido Villanello, the gladiator, gets his fourth, fourth professional win against Keenan Hickman.
don't know what happened. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh. You don't know what happened, son. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And none of that would just so easy. Yeah. Marion Williams is having a hard time staying on his feet here with the pressure that Vianello's putting on him. Oh, another right hand, and that's a delayed reaction shot. And down goes Williams for the second time. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three gloves. Three gloves. Man. You all right? He put some barbecue sauce on those, on those ribs right there with that shot. Trying to finish him off here in round one, and down for the third time is Marion Williams. Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. You all right? Continue. Oh, my goodness. Time. The second knockdown here. Boom. Again. Time. Right That's hand. Well you're placed. You're, Started you're, you're high. You're finished right. low. And the fight That's is over. exactly over. how you set up. A okay. beautiful knockout right there. Punch okay. variety is on the menu for Guido Vianello. He wants to make Rios get some spaghetti legs he here. Go. He ready to go. As a quick combination, down goes Rios from that flurry of punches from Guido Vianello. Will he beat the count? Six, seven, it's over. eight, nine. And Rafael Rios just barely gets up, but he was in no condition to continue after no, beating the count. I mean, not at all. It was a beatdown. Look at his body control right here. Head control right there from Vianello. That's a veteran move right there. Illegal. Boom. Line up that uppercut. Yeah, it, well, you call it what you want to call it. I mean, there's the, the greats, they do it. They know how to do it. Looping right hand, you see the high guard right there, or the half guard. Cross guard coming from Rios. Vianello just taking advantage of all the openings. Down to the body. You know, it's just a matter of time before Rios Took Six, enough punishment seven, over the course eight, of this fight. Yeah, the guy's been down, what, four times now? And he's about to get I, I down mean, again. You know, this is how guys get hurt. Oh, my goodness. What Come a on, finish. Stop the Come fight. on. This is just silly. Vianello, he gave him a chance to do exactly that, to take more punishment that was completely unnecessary. And this Shane was about as poor a stoppage as we've seen. It, it, it was terrible. It was just a brutal beatdown, Mark, starting with this right. Starting. <laughs> There you go, and you know he, he's been—he was holding on. I think that was the second knockdown. You know, look, this is this is what they wanted to see at Guido Vianello. a destructive, quick stoppage—the kind of win that's eluded him. And I'm, I'm not really sure what Murdoch was looking for at this point. And Murdoch is an excellent referee, but. This fight was not his best performance. And now he's, this is how it ends, and he's just teeing off. I'm not sure what he's looking for or what he needed to see at that point. You know, he's up on the ropes. He hasn't thrown a punch. He's defenseless. He's taking big shots from a big man.